You brought him here to kill me. Why did Anakin believe that Padme was trying to kill him on Mustafar in the lore? Greetings Acolytes and welcome back to the Archives. One of the most misunderstood moments in Revenge of the Sith is the final conversation of Anakin and Padme. In a heartbreaking moment, Padme realizes just how much Anakin has changed. He was no longer the boy that she met on Tatooine, nor the valiant Jedi Knight who was the father of the children. She tried and failed to get him to run away with her when Obi-Wan then made his grand appearance. Despite telling Anakin that she loved him, he calls her a liar and then harshly accuses her of bringing Obi-Wan there to kill him. In a blind rage, Anakin chokes his wife before turning his accusations towards Kenobi. We would think that if anyone could have brought Anakin back from the dark side, it would have been Padme. So why did Anakin immediately believe that Padme was trying to kill him when Obi-Wan appeared? Well, let's open another holocron and find out why Anakin thought that Padme had a plan to kill him and how he thought that this was brilliant and may have actually worked. The Revenge of the Sith does a great job at showing how much internal struggle Anakin is facing during during his time on Coruscant, but the novelization has way more. All throughout the book, Anakin is facing a great many challenges on the world. He was constantly distressed and sleep deprived, looking over his shoulder at every turn, and being pulled in many directions by the Council, the Republic, and by Padme. There is even a point in the novel where he desperately wished he could go back on the front lines of combat, because at least during war, he could see and knew where the enemy was. But on Coruscant, everyone wanted something from him, and his enemy was truly hidden. There was an instance in the novel when Kenobi goes to visit Padme and sits down to talk about her and Anakin. He was very worried about his well-being after sensing his anxiety and stress as of recent. Kenobi had never felt right after asking Anakin to spy on the Chancellor, and so he wanted to check in with Padme, who he knew Anakin confided in. Later, Anakin would return to Padme's apartment, but then find it incredibly troubling when he sensed echoes of Obi-Wan's presence. Suddenly, Anakin shows a shadow of his dark side as he interrogates Padme about why Obi-Wan was there. It's insinuated at one point that Anakin was worried about the slim chance of Kenobi and Padme having an affair behind his back while they would be laughing at him from behind the scenes. Anakin becomes so angry that he looks down on Padme with a threatening presence, with a darkness behind his eyes, before Padme tells him the truth that Kenobi was simply worried about his friend. This calmed Anakin's fears for the time being, but this instance shows that Anakin was already concerned about any relationship or interaction that his wife had with his Jedi Master. At the time, Anakin didn't know who he could trust, and there were certain things that he wasn't even allowed to tell Padme, as Chancellor Palpatine and Padme were on opposite sides of a political dispute in the Senate. With Anakin caught in the crossfire, all this setup is to establish that Anakin had been very wary of Obi-Wan and Padme together, not entirely knowing or believing that they were only talking because they were both very worried about him. Anakin thought there was something more, whether or not it was betrayal or an affair. Now skipping to the interaction of Mustafar, Anakin's paranoia was set at an all-time high, especially now that he had just gorged himself on the dark side. The novel goes out of its way to make something very clear. Anakin, for the first time, has felt the raw strength of the dark side. Slaughtering the Confederate Council gave him this power, and this was why we first see him with the Sith eyes during this moment. But once he had calmed his mind from the high that the dark side had given him, all of the events from the recent few hours were now catching up, and only one thing was on his mind. Betrayal. The Chancellor had revealed himself to be a Sith, betraying the Republic, and everything that Anakin knew. Then, he believed that the Jedi betrayed the Republic. Anakin himself had betrayed Mace Windu, and the clones betrayed the Jedi. It went even further though. Sidious betrayed the Separatists by sending Anakin. And to top all of this off, Anakin was meditating about betraying and killing Sidious. All this treachery caused the dark side to warp his mind in that moment to be on the lookout for anyone coming to stab him in the back and take his power. Anakin definitely was not thinking clearly, and when Obi-Wan showed up on Padme's ship, his warped perceptions took over, and fury flooded his very being. Treachery was the only conclusion that Anakin could jump to, and his mind closed off itself to all reason. But there was something that Padme had that was a trump card, something Anakin knew that no one else did. One of the most confusing things about their interaction was when Anakin called Padme a liar when she told him that she loved him. What Anakin knew was that love made the dark side weak. Anakin was always vulnerable around Padme even before he turned into a Sith. Padme was the only person that truly made him feel that way, weak. 
but now that he had fully turned to the darkness, he knew his powers were weak when she was around him. So when Obi-Wan appeared, Anakin immediately believed that Padme had deliberately tried to use his love for her as a way to weaken him and give Kenobi a chance. We established how he had suspected the two were in cahoots, and then this betrayal-centered mind was convinced that she was ready to act on this. Now. Anakin was jumping to conclusions and believing that Padme's presence was a way to make it so that Obi-Wan would kill him and would have an edge. This was why he called her a liar, as Anakin believed that she had used her love as a way to destroy him. But here's the real question. Was this Obi-Wan's plan from the beginning? It seems reasonable that he would stick close to Padme for the reason by sneaking aboard her ship. Of course, the reason Obi-Wan stowed away was because Padme has refused to tell him where Anakin had gone. Kenobi couldn't just place a tracker and then follow her because he didn't have access to his starfighter and was on the run. And even if the Jedi did, it would have gotten shot down or would have run the risk of Padme discovering that he was following her. But there is credence in believing that Obi-Wan might know that Anakin would be weaker around Padme which would open an opportunity for him to end the Sith threat. But the fact that love made the dark side weaker was not common knowledge to this point. The story of Revan and Bastila was one that was several thousand years old, and likely not one that Obi-Wan would have recalled in this moment. Plus, it's unlikely that the Jedi Order would have recorded that it was their love that brought Bastila back from the dark side. Because of this, it was not an understood concept that love could counteract the effects of darkness better than the typical Jedi methods could. So our ruling on this matter is that this plan wasn't intentional on Obi-Wan's part. He stowed away on Padme's ship because it was the simplest and most convenient way to reach Anakin. There's no indication that Obi-Wan was maliciously trying to use their love for each other against his best friend, although it is possible. Anakin, though, believed that Padme had tried to kill him because his mind was twisted and the dark side had changed him. Treachery was the only thing he experienced for the last hours and as his entire time as a Sith. This, compiled with the fact that he had already suspected something more happening between Kenobi and Padme, and the fact that his love for his wife made him weaker, all came together to form a tragically misunderstood situation. Obi-Wan hadn't planned on intentionally using the relationship to get to Anakin, and Padme was of course innocent. These are all the trappings of the dark side though, the peace that someone sacrifices to serve it. We talk about the powers and the gifts of the force that it offers, but it warps the user's mind until they only think of themselves. They become a slave towards acquiring more power and fearful of losing that power. This causes them to be extremely paranoid to the point where they think that everyone is against them. They will betray others before others get a chance to betray them and even if this means hurting or destroying those closest to them or their plans. All of this is exemplified perfectly in the tragic interaction between Padme and Anakin. And my friends, now, tell us your thoughts on this and our breakdown of the Revenge of the Sith novelization. Had you wondered why Anakin immediately believed that his wife had turned on him and was trying to kill him? Also, let us know what other moments in Star Wars you would like to see explored and explained in another video. And until next time, my friends, may the Force be with you and have an amazing day.